Hey, welcome back to Cracks Country Cooking. I'm Ben, and today we're gonna unbox what I think is the best pellet grill in the thousand dollar price range. The Gorilla Grills Silverback AT. So, day's come for the unboxing. Gorilla Grills Silverback AT. Really excited about this one. It's had excellent reviews. These are made in China, but they have to, to be competitive on pricing. Uh, the build quality looks pretty good. I haven't seen one in person. All I did was open up a couple boxes, make sure nothing was damaged in shipping. Took about a week and a half to get it from the purchase date. Uh, came freight. But other than that, let's uh, see what we got, put it together, then we'll do some cooks on it. I put it in the cart together. I don't really need to film me putting it together because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, only a couple things I saw in the instructions when you're putting the base together for the AT cart, it says just to tighten those four bolts. Uh, leave those loose. The next step it says to next loose fit top frame. The problem is if you tighten the bottom like I just did, you, the bolt holes won't line up, so I just re-loosen them back up so you have some wiggle room. Other than that, it's going together pretty well. So I'm just going to finish continuing putting this together, and I'll see you in a minute. Well, the cart's built. Wasn't too bad. Need a couple tools. Pretty simple. Now I just got to get that up there. Here it is. The thing is awesome looking. Let's go over a couple things. So I went with the optional folding shelf, which is also stainless. It's got 14 gauge, or excuse me, it's got 12 gauge stainless steel lid, 14 gauge body. Uh, it's double wall construction. It's got a stainless steel, this is all three or four stainless. It's got stainless steel fire pot. It's got a 20 pound hopper. You put 20 pounds pellets in there, which is nice. It's got some awesome looking wheels. It's got a good height. I like the height of this one. It's a little taller than my Green Mountain. Definitely taller than my Traeger Pro 22. It's a sweet looking grill. It's ho hopefully it cooks as good as it looks. Got nice turning radius, locking handle. For the grease bucket, it uses a tin can instead of a separate grease bucket. So we'll see how that works. It's nice because you just fill that up and you throw the whole thing out. One of the optional things I got was the power pack. It's pretty cool. Should be able to run the grill, I think they said 10 to 12 hours. So we're gonna put that to the test, of course. So let's get some pellets in here and fire it up. We gotta do the burn in. Use Gorilla Grill's uh, competition blend. We're gonna throw a handful in the fire pot and then fill the hopper. Better get that GoPro out of there. 
So the burn-in's complete. I uh, powdered it down, let it cool down completely. That's why it's darker out now. Now we're gonna do the bread test. Uh, I'm gonna put it in 250 degrees for about 20 minutes. We'll flip them and see where the hot spots are. I recommend doing that with any pellet grill you buy. You need to know where they're at. So we'll do three in the back. I also took the upper rack out. All right, we'll try that and see what it looks like in 20 minutes. So we ended up going for 30 minutes and it's evenly toasted. It's not that dark. So you can see these are all pretty good. nothing burned. We're going to use some uh, dinner rolls, pre-made dinner rolls, and I'm going to try those. Those tend to burn easier, so we'll give that a shot see what happens. All right, we're going to let these go for 30 minutes and see if any of those burn. I put this up to 300, let it go for half an hour with those dinner rolls in there. So we'll check on them now. They look good. You can smell the yeast coming out of them. One ninety, one ninety two, one ninety three. These are pretty much done. So we'll check the bottom, see what they look like. Not burned. Probably should have sprayed something down. If you look. They're all pretty even. I'm pretty impressed with that. I should have sprayed some on the cooking grates first. Looks like this left rear corner is a little darker than the rest, but still not bad. Can't really complain about that. So I noticed some discoloration on the stainless from the heat coming out of the lid and going down, but it's not too big of a deal. Here's the here's pulled pork. There's the pork butt we put on last night. It's been in here for 15 hours. It finally hit temp. We're gonna pull it out. I did no wrap on this one. Just wanted to see what it would look like. Here's something. Well, here's what the pork looks like outside. But here's something I always like to check. Will the lid shut if you have like pulled pork on the shelf? Yep, well that's good. Well, we let this pulled pork rest for about three hours in a dry cooler. Now we'll see how it did. Look at that. Yeah, that's... Of course you know the bone's gonna pull right out of this, yep. It's amazing how it will stay this warm in a dry cooler wrapped in aluminum foil. I mean, this is three hours after I pulled it off. Yeah, look at that. Definitely got smoke ring. Man, you can't beat that. That's, that's excellent. Mm-hmm. Fat's nice and yellow. So here's my thoughts. It's a really, really good smoker for the price. Uh, I had a couple issues. The power pack came, the face was all scratched up. I was able to buff it out. I sent the pictures to customer support. Within half an hour, they emailed me back. We came up with a solution. Uh, the power pack works, so I'm just gonna keep that one. Like I said, I buffed it all out with a magic eraser. It came clean and it's not all scratched up now. Um, the other issue I had is one of the wheels didn't come with the hubcap holes drilled for the screw. They weren't drilled and tapped, but just cosmetic, didn't affect it. Emailed them to send me another wheel. The customer support is excellent. The temperatures, it held temperature all night long. This has been gone. This has been running for 24 hours straight now. The PID mode, it held a pretty steady within, I'd say 20 degrees of where I had it, you know, plus and minus 10. 
it worked excellent. I, I have no complaint with this thing. It worked excellent. The, the, I can already tell that the grill grates are going to be so easy to clean. It's just, it's, it's, it's great. It works excellent. The one thing I will say is I wish that I got the wheel chocks. I thought it was funny to get wheel chocks for it. They do offer them. But if you have unsteady ground, I mean, it's, it'll roll away on you. So you got to get something to chalk the wheels. But like I said, this thing's been running for 24 hours now. No issues. I highly recommend it. I'll have a link in my description. I recommend you guys getting one if you're looking for pellet grill. I think this is one of the better ones. You're in that thousand dollar price range. They had a deal going on. I got this one for $1,100. Free shipping, front shelf, uh, the power pack and stuff like that. So, all right. If you like this video hit the like and subscribe button like our past videos we got more videos coming out every week you can follow us on tiktok instagram threads facebook of course youtube go to crackscountrycooking.com we got affiliate links in there we got spices and rubs all sorts of stuff don't forget hit that like and subscribe share comment all right see ya